In this video, I'm going to explain how we can create this beautiful line chart which show KPI or time data. KPI may be your temperature data, maybe sale data or with this line chart, we can also visualize specific event occurrence on KPI data or time. For example, if we consider this event, why this decrease is happening. So we have a specific event, we can update this text on a event table and they will automatically update on the chart. Even we can update the date and they will move forward back based on the dates we have. Before jumping how we can create this chart, this chart has four important things. First, how we can create this area chart. Second, how we can create line chart over the area chart. Third, how we can create this dot over the chart. Fourth, how we can create these yellow dots and the last thing a little bit formatting and how we can display the labels i think that is enough to explain no further ado let's develop step by step this chart consider we have this data set in this data we have the dates we have the price and we have milestone we want to display on a chart and we have the price coming from this table we have description manually input Upper timeline is actually the actual timeline multiplied with 1.6 because I want to display the red bar a little bit higher than the actual line. So I'm just going to multiply with 1.6 factor. You can multiply with any of the factor. And of course, this, these are the date I just extract from the data. The first thing I need to select all of the data, control shift down key and control backspace to jump back to the first cell go to insert and click on the recommended chart and i want to display this line chart i will press ok i will adjust the chart in the area first the next thing i want to click on the chart and control c and then again control v to copy paste the chart multiple times if I just go to select data, I will see two series instead of one series. What I need to do, I just need to go edit and I will call the first series as area chart. And I will call the second series a line chart. This is just to make easy for me when I'm doing changing on the chart type. Now I will click change chart type and I will click combo chart and they automatically adjust. I will press OK. And now I need to change the color. To change the color, I will click on the format. I will click on the area chart. Now shape outline, I want this lighter color. Yes. And I want the fill color as a white color as well. Now I will click again on the series line chart. And in this line chart, I will click a little darker color. And for shape fill, I will also choose dark color. I need to remove the chart title. I need to remove the grid line because I don't need these grid line as well. Now we need to display the dots. So how we can display it? First, we need to select these two data sheet. Press Ctrl C. Click on the chart. Press Ctrl V. And now we see these yellow line will appear on chart. Click on this yellow line. Chart design change chart type and instead of line chart we want this to scatter chart and we don't want this on secondary x-axis and press ok now you see we have the yellow dots on the line basically these dots line these are we need to format we need to display the red dots so what we need to do we just need to select milestone and we need to select upper timeline press ctrl c Click on the chart, press Ctrl V, and now you can see we have the red dots. Now, what we need to do, click on the format, click here and actual timeline or upper timeline. First, we need to format upper timeline, right click, format data series, fill and design, markers, markers options, Milton, we want this circle type. And of course, I want to increase the size a little bit higher. Let's say 13 is fine. For the fill color, I will choose this red color. 
now we need to go chart elements and we select upper timeline we will click on the plus icon chart elements and error bar we need to select the error bars it display the error bar on each of the points we need to delete the horizontal so just select the horizontal error bar hit a delete key and click on the vertical error bar right click format error bar in this case i want the minus error bar i want to display on the bottom i don't want the cape and the percentage error in this case i want 100 percent now i will choose this line type and this look fine now we need to click on the upper data bars and we will insert the data label once the data label inserted we need to click more options and on more options we will choose value from cell and we will just specify the description columns press ok we don't want the y value we don't want the ladder lines and in this case we will label position c2 above and this look good now some of them are overlapping so you just need to a little bit play with them just make it a little upper we need to insert the data label for these bar so we will click on this bar and again go to data labels and in this case we will also choose more options for more options i will click value from cell and in this case we will specify the years we will remove the y value show little lines uncheck it and in this case i will choose below and i think this look fine that is all about how we can format this chart you can remove the grid line you can remove the shape outline from the chart whatever you can do it a little bit formatting but this look good now the only thing we need to format these x axis at the ear so it's very simple just click right click format axis and just go to number format instead of y y y we just need to add only y y and it's look fine that is all about how we can format this chart i hope you like this video please subscribe the channel for more important video thank you so much